Good afternoon. We are into a new week and it's bright and sunny and today is Monday, July the 8th and I'm Dorothy Simon and I'm sitting in for Jim Makey at Cable Channel 3. And you can also catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org sandylandcenter.org and come and visit us in person over on the south side of the square in St. John at 110 East 3rd. Come, come and join us for a cup of coffee this morning and um, good fellowship over here. Over all in throughout the Midwest, there could be some very severe thunderstorms all across the Midwest in the next several days. The temperatures generally will vary from a near average to about 10 to 11 degrees above average temperatures. And these thunderstorms will contain sometimes one inch or more of downpours. But right now in the square, it is mostly sunny. It has about a 37% humidity with south southwest westerly winds at 18 miles per hour, and they do feel warm. And the temperature is at 94 degrees as it winds its way, its way rapidly towards a high of 102. And tonight it should cool down to right at 75 degrees. But for the next six hours, most of it, it should be sunny, sunny, windy, and like I say, warming rapidly to the high 100s. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we could expect some isolated thunderstorms, 30% chance of rain, the wind south southwesterly at 70 miles per hour, and a high of 104, a low of 74 in the evening, at the partly cloudy in the evening with 52% humidity. And Wednesday, mostly cloudy, uh, east north easterly winds at 17 miles per hour with a high of 98 degrees and a low of 70. We have some birthdays today, and we want to wish Jan Stadelman happy birthday and culture Rigel. So if you see those two people, wish them a happy birthday and I hope they have good a good day today for their birthdays. And the Friends of the Library continue to invite us to use their facilities and I like what they say about the public library. A public library is the most democratic thing in the world. What can be found there has undone dictators and tyrants. Demagogues can persecute writers and tell them what to write as much as they like, but they cannot banish what has been written in the past. So do visit our public library. They do have an excellent resources for ebooks, audiobooks, and videos and music to download. All that you can get at the Sun. Flower e Library, and they continue to um, support the summer reading for the children, the summer reading program, um, dig into reading for kindergartners through the fifth grade, and that goes through um, on July the 11th. They will have the book review on extinction. So encourage the children to read. It's a lifelong skill that they will use. Um, over at this time of the year, you know, everything tends to slow down, but we want to remind you that the center does support the St. John Kansas Food Bank. And the food bank is always in need of um, food. And we need dried beans, peanut butter, salting crackers, um, just anything that you think would be useful in a food basket. Bring it, bring it along to the center or the First United Methodist Church. But certainly do remember that the food bank is always in need of materials. Any canned meats, tuna, chicken, salmon, 
and anything that you think would be useful, bring it along to the for the book food bank needs. The senior center at the Sunflower Senior Center just wanted to remind you that towards the end of the month, um, put it in your calendar to support the effort to the Dodge City shopping and the trip to the casino uh, on July the 30th. They will leave you at 8 a.m. and be back by 2.30. And that trip is costs only um, $10. So please put that in your calendar to have an outing with the seniors. Today's menus over at the Maxville Center, they are serving uh, chicken enchiladas, corn O'Brien, a spinach salad, uh, and ice cream with tortillas as well. And tomorrow they will serve a roast beef with gravy, mashed potatoes, steamed cabbage, muffin, and a spice peach gelatin salad. And on Wednesday you can look forward to porcupine meatballs. I'm not sure what's in porcupine meatballs. It sounds as if it might be rather sticky. <laughs> but you can have Romanoff potatoes with that, broccoli and cauliflower salad, and a cinnamon roll, and an ambrosia. It always sounds so enticing. And this week starts um, a new menu over at the Sunflower Center, Senior Center, and they'll be serving spaghetti, carrots, mandarin orange salad today with a fruit cake and garlic bread to go with that and spaghetti. Tomorrow they'll serve a meatloaf, scalloped potatoes, a peas, a spinach salad, and fruit. And Wednesday it will be Swedish meatballs, noodles, uh, greens, apricot, pineapple salad, and a chocolate vanilla pudding. All very enticing. And our thought for today, you have become a mature person when keeping a secret gives you much more pleasure than passing it on. If you keep that secret, it gives you more pleasure than passing it on. It says you have become a mature person. You have a great day and keep cool. And we shall see you again shortly.